everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Tamara and today I am starting a brand new series on my channel and it is uh, Guild Wars 2 oriented of course, uh, as you can see right now on the screen, we are going to create a character and we are going to level it from uh, 1 to 80, so basically this is going to be a let's play walkthrough, I don't know what am I going to call it, but we are going to level up a, a class from the beginning to the end. And at the end we will be ready for uh, fractals I think that yeah when I reach level 80 and get my equipment I will be ready for fractals so uh, I decided that I'm going to make a mesmer and why am I going to make a mesmer is because I haven't ever uh, I never leveled up a mesmer I haven't played as a mesmer and I'm really interested in that class because it is different from any other class that you have seen in MMO before so yeah I want to try that also if you are new to my channel, my name is Tamara, as I said before, and uh, please subscribe. I'm going to post Guild Wars 2 videos uh, on a regular basis, as well as some other videos, uh, but you do not have to watch them. If you're here for Guild Wars 2, expe uh, expect one video a day about Guild Wars 2. I will be doing tutorials, walk this walkthrough, and a bunch of other stuff, uh, so yeah. Uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button and join our family. Also, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed the series. So, let's get started. I decided that I'm going to make Azura. Why am I making Azura? Because they are the cutest and I love playing as an Azura. I usually play as human or some type of uh, human class, but uh, this is the first MMO that I actually do not like the human class or... So, or or anything like that because these Azuras are so cute and I want to be a mystical creature. So let me just read this uh, part right here. Actually, uh, let me start from the beginning. You have five classes in Guild Wars 2. Uh, that is Char, Human, Norn, Azura and Silvari. I will read about every single class so you have uh, some kind of sense of the game and then we will uh, we, we are going to create an Azura. I think that this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual maybe around 30 or 40 minutes because I'm just starting the game but I hope you guys do not mind. So Char. The Char race was forged in the uh, merciless crucible of war. It is all they know. Uh, war defines them and their quest for uh, dominion drives them uh, ever onward. Uh, they are weakling and they are full have uh, and the fool have no place among the char. Victory is all that matters and it must be achieved at any by any means uh, and at any cost. Uh, human humans ha uh, have lost their homeland, their security, and their former glory. Even their gods have withdrawn, and yet the human spirit remains unshaken. These brave defenders of Krita uh, continues to fight with every ounce of their strength. The Norn. This race of towering hunters experienced a great defeat when the ice dragon drove them from their uh, glacial homeland. Nevertheless, they won't let uh, one lost battle, uh, however punishing, deepened, uh, dampen their enthusiasm for life and the hunt. They know that, uh, that only the ultimate victor achieved legendary rewards. The Silvari. Silvari are not born, they are awakened beneath the pale tree with knowledge gleaned in their pre-life dream. These noble beings travel uh, seeking adventure and pursuing quests. They struggle to balance curiosity with duty, eagerness with uh, chivalry and warfare with honor. Magic and mystery entwine to shape the future of this race that has no recent appeared. recently appeared. Sorry. Azura. These uh, alchemical inventors may be short in stature, but they are intellectual gi giants. Among the Azura, it's not the strong who survive, but the clever. Other races believe they should rule by virtue of their power and strength, but they are deluding themselves. In due time, all will serve at the Azura. I love the Azuras. They are so tiny and cute and I, I don't know. I, I, I love them. So I'm going to make an Azura and uh, one thing I forgot to say at the beginning English is not my native language so, so so sorry if I make any mistakes while talking I will try not to make any mistakes but uh, I need to put it up, put it out there so let's click on next and we are of course creating a female Azura all right did I click on a female Azura whoa female Azura yes next and I'm not creating an engineer Holy crap, I'm creating a Mesmer. Mesmer, I love the color of a Mesmer. It's pinky, just like I my channel. My channel is pinky as well. So, uh, we are going to uh, create the 
one, not the shortest one, but something in the middle. And for the physique, uh, I'm just going to hide armor. Uh, for the physique, I want something tiny, maybe something like this. And for her skin color, let's go with uh, mm, soft pink, light green, no, 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 pink. Light cream. I like the light cream. And for the skin markings, let's check that out. Maybe we can use something. Mm, uh, I like this one. No. I like this one. Okay. So I love this one and this one. Oh, I don't like that one. I think I will use this one. Yeah. We will go with that. For the head options, uh, let me let me just... Oh, we are picking the hair. I like this hair. To be honest, with the pink accessory, royal rose, or maybe a glory. No, this one. And for her hair, I think I will go with pink. Simply because this class is all about pink, and I think it would be very beautiful if I pick, pink the, pick the light pink color. So for the face, uh, let me pick something that I personally like. I want my Azura to look to be beautiful. Wow, this one is cute! I like this Azura. Oh. Faces and skin colors, okay, for the ears. Mm. Uh, let me see. I like these ears. And now for the face details, uh, I want I just want to get their eyes a little closer. Uh, eye size maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, and for the eye color, we will go with pink because everything is pink, so yeah. Okay, eye angle, eye size, eye width. Okay, I just wanted to do this. And I think that she's relatively cute and I do not want to change her anymore. Um, her mask we will choose later, but she's not going to be in purple. Uh, we will go with something like maybe... Nope. Yeah, we will go with Royal Rose, and this part is going to be mm, Glory, and the third one is going to be Matte. So, Royal Rose, Glory, Matte. Royal Rose, Glory, Matte. Uh, Royal Rose, Glory, Matte. And Footwear, Royal Rose, Glory, Matte. Yes! Now, next. A Mesmer's mask creates an image. I choose to look out from behind a, a Harlequin smile, phantasm of sorrow, uh, fanged with dread. Harlequin smile. It takes a bravery to face your fear and seize your victories. Never let them see you uh, see you without a smile. Phantasm of sorrow. I show uh, the world a face lined with tra by tragedy. Too bad you can't see behind the mask to know whether I'm secretly laughing or not. Fanged dread. Ooh. Uh, I'm a whis uh, whisperer in the night, eyes that glow in the darkness, uh, I stand in the shadows and my mask uh, is the monster you fear. I think we will go with Harlequin's smile. Uh, so let's click on next. Trouble may follow me but I use my what? Charm, dignity or ferocity. Uh, I'm charming, no one can resist me why, uh, when I'm at my best. I know just what to say to lighten the mood or bol bolster courage. Uh, dignity. I'm dignified even when uh, when up to my ears in mud. It's what makes people respect me. A serious, thoughtful demeanor uh, in the route to success. Ferocity. I'm ferocious. Threatening uh, violence gets me further than any anything else. I'm natural, though I do try to use my powers of intimidation intimidation for good. I think I will go with dignity. Uh, I'm a member of uh, of the College of Static, Dynamic, or Synergetic. Uh, builders and archite architects make up the College of Statics, and we build to last. Co uh, some call us conservative, but we excel at creating new designs, using old materials in innovative ba uh, ways, and expanding the pur uh, purview of known magic for pra practical application. Holy Lord. Dynamic. The College of Dynamic produces gizmo makers extraordinaire. Energy, enthusiasm, and boldness are our best qualities. We believe in leveraging and expendable, uh, leveraging the expendable nature of all things. If a prototype explodes, it isn't a failure unless the lesson goes unlearned. Synergetics. As a member of College of Synergetics, we study how energy patterns form the uh, and al alchemical fractal propaganda. Oh my God, I cannot read this. 
pro propagnate propagnate I cannot read that few beyond our college understand the philosophical and mystical uh, complexi complexities of our interests we devoutly research the true nature of the internal al alchemy I am going to pick the statics I like the statics my first invention was uh, the Val A Gollum a trans transmol spheric converter or an infinity ball uh, most golems are power uh, powerhouse designed for warfare. They show absolutely no sub subtlety or orig originality of design. My golem was compact, compact and efficient and it had an unparalleled package of features. It revolutionized lab cleanup and it mixed a great cocktail too. <laughs> uh, trans transmospheric converter. Uh, what... Uh, unmitigated joy to be able to change uh, the weather at my whim. If only the prototype had been more powerful. Nevertheless, the design was cutting edge. My transmospheric converter was a masterpiece of utter genius. I wish I had more funding. And an infinity ball? They said it was a toy, a pipe dream, a waste of resources. They were wrong. My invention predicted the future. So what if uh, it doesn't predict it correctly every time? That's irrelevant. Could it give me an advantage? Uh, reply Hazy Ask again. Okay, I will go with the trans transmospheric converter. My first advisor, the one who taught me almost everything I know, almost, was Brunk, Zinga, Bilp, and Kani. Brunk. Good old Master Brunk taught me the benefits of superior firepower. He liked to say, when it comes to besting the enemy, there is no such thing as overkill. Zinga. Mr. Zinga taught me that the best form of magic is a good old-fashioned luck. Uh, she liked to say, planning ahead is for ninnies who think that they can predict every possible outcome. The future is mutable. Go with the flow. Blip. Master Blip was known for his redundancies as well as his redundancies. He often said, you first, uh, your first try should never be your last, especially if it succeeded. You can always succeed bigger next time. Kani. Counselor Kani uh, wasn't just uh, another uh, bureaucrat. She was an uh, esopolitical... Es es Vara Scientologist, she was fond of saying, always bring a witness, preferably an expendable one. You never know you'll need a sarcophagus <laughs> you, you, when you'll need a scape, scapegoat. Nice. I will go with Zynga and let's hit next. The name is going to be Telome and we are going to hit next. And uh, then you are going to see a little short story. So I think I will be quiet uh, with the short story lasting. I am Asura. I personify genius. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth, forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. We will not move another inch. Not for dragons, not for anyone. By studying the eternal alchemy, we learn to see the world as a concrete framework. I believe that a steadfast structure requires a firm foundation. I belong to the College of Statics. I surround myself with individuals I respect and who respect me. Collaboration induces excellence. The crews of my college are builders planners, creators. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix and make my name doing so. In time, I will construct the edifice of a better world. A world devoid of chaos and destruction. 
This is my story. All right. So, um, uh, when you start as an Azura, you start with the first chapter of your uh, level one story. So, um, and you also get these um, tutorial thingies. So, let's move up and down. And uh, you rota rotate your camera with. Uh, flip on you the there. Okay. Get over here and, and let's talk to Rob. Uh, I'm not going to read this text. Oh, I will. There's a catastrophic glitch in the Golem control system. In brief, they will, uh, they've all gone completely loopy. Find Peacemaker Gezi and uh, she'll get you to the bottom of this. Peacemaker, they're no help. Uh, sure they are. Well, some of them are, okay. Um, a few are, but uh, Gezi is one of the good ones. Alright. So, uh, let's meet with uh, Peacemaker Gezi. Uh, and one thing I want to do, let me just click on H, Equipment, and I do not want to see the mask. Okay, uh, let's talk with the Peacemaker and you, you will get a little short story. It's pure chaos out here, unacceptable. What's going on? Just what it looks like. These golems have gone mad. Zoja suspects someone tampered with them, and by someone, she means the inquest. Zoja's rarely wrong. Don't tell her I said rarely, by the way. If it is the inquest, she's going to need help. Where can I find her? At the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems. She claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us. Not for long. I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Okay, so um, basically uh, this short stories you get when uh, you are doing story quests. And uh, I'm doing story quest, quest right now. So I need to get to the portal. Portal is this way. I already played as an Azura. My main is Elementalist Azura. So I already know the part of the story. But I was I was never the part of the synerg um, Synergetic College. Static College, sorry. And I uh, my first invention was Infinity Ball. Not the trans Transmospheric the converter. I cannot pronounce that. English is not my native language and it's really hard for me to pronounce certain words and I'm really sorry for that. So in this first part we are going to finish this and hopefully get to at least level 2 or 3. So let's get to, through the portal and we have Zoja right here. Zoja is one of the main characters of the story. You will see that later. And we have Teo and we have Mr. Sparkles, one of Zoja's uh, robots. Actually, it's not true. robots, golems, but they like that. Dangerous. Did I uh, lift off the mask? Yes, I did. Okay. Let them show you what dangerous really means. And I really love this. Ooh. Defensive protocol. Oh, I'm uh, with the sword currently. I couldn't see that. Never mind. Um, Mesmers can use a bunch of different uh, weapons, and I'm currently on a great sword. No, I'm not. I'm currently. I don't know which weapon I'm, I'm using. I'm using the regular sword, but I do not want to use the regular one. I want to use the great sword. So we will switch that after I finish this quest. And the reason why I want to use the great sword is because it's the highest hitting uh, weapon in the game, as well as the staff. But you can switch between the weapons when you get to level. 20 or something or level 9 or level 5 I'm not sure uh, when, when I level up the first time I will see what uh, can I expect later and yeah. so basically uh, we are just getting uh, familiar with the game inquest clause defeated okay this is the last one come on And if you're wondering, this is not a bl blind playthrough or walkthrough. I am. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, this is not the first character I'm leveling in Guild Wars 2. This is actually the third one. Um, the second one. Uh, no, this is the fourth one. Sorry, the fourth one. One I leveled through the level up booster, and three I leveled myself. I have an Acromance. Whoa, Pro prototype X. I have to come closer. And it's going to, yeah, basically, okay, come on. And again, I have to be really careful. Uh, Elementalist was very easy when I was doing this story part, because Elementalist um, shoots from the distance and I didn't have to uh, worry about this. But for now, 
We're just going to stand here. I think he can't hit me while I'm here. I don't think so. Alright, come on. Okay, this is not good. Uh, let's press on heal. Nice. Come on. We are killing the prototype X, and I think that uh, this part of the story will be finished after I kill this golem. This golem is usually not that hard to kill, as you can see, it doesn't have any mechanics and it can't kill you. It can't kill you, basically. Alrighty! And I love this game, you guys. This is my favorite MMO ever. I don't know how to explain this, but this MMO is one of one of my favorite ones um, I've ever played, ever, ever. Uh, I like the story, I like the character creation, I like the hey, options, everything. I see you survived okay. with your epidermis intact. <laughs> of course. Takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. <laughs> Modest, too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise, if you ask me. The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And the first part of the story quest is done. And I got a scepter? Really? I got a scepter. Ooh, weird. And we got a level. Uh, click for more info. Uh, plus 7 primary attributes. Okay. Stat increases, I know. Weapon skill to unlocked. Okay, we got a new weapon. Uh, not, uh, not the weapon, we got a new skill. And yeah. Okay, let's accept it. <coughs> and for the upcoming levels, new profession skill will be at level 5, uh, fine equipment, uh, we will get fine equipment at level 6, personal story at level 10, and 5 hero points at level 11. That's uh, the good thing, when you click on your experience bar, you can see what, ca what uh, you need to expect later on. And uh, I will give you a couple of advices about this game. Uh, whenever you see the scout thingy, click Welcome on it, and he will tell you province. what you need to do. You'll so find basically, private you have laboratories heart here, all over where our crews work heart on dangerous here, heart research, here. and we pay the price for excellence. Labs need to be carefully maintained, but I'm sure that's not news to you. Okay. We see a fair bit of interference from the inquest. They're envious oh, of our advances hearts. and covered our research nice. materials. Our researchers could use some Five, of your talents. And the sixth on one is journey, over there. As you well. may also there encounter nefarious okay, events. Okay, so those are Don't the beginning. Let's say quests. By. Jump in and help. As you get about, you'll encounter our magi matter transportive devices, more commonly known as waypoints. All right. They're mini gates that, for a trivial fee, transport you across great distances. They're the second most convenient way to travel next to our gates. Alright, so, uh, the basic thing you want to do in this game is, uh, let me open the big map and show you. So, you have um, five starting areas and five towns. Fine, five towns. You have Radasam, you have The Grove, you have Divinity's Reach, you have Black Citadel and Holbrook. Holbrook. When you uh, explore or all of these cities, as you can see, all of these cities have uh, waypoints, uh, vistas, and uh, points of interest. When you finish exploring all of these, you will be level 10. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to probably do it and speed up so you can see that probably for the 5th or 6th video after level 10, after, or after something like that. And also, um, you uh, need to do map completion. You have to finish all of, sorry, <laughs> you have to finish the hearts, uh, the hero points, uh, waypoints, vistas, and um, points of interest. And that is the way of leveling in this game. Uh, hearts are important. Uh, you will get experience from that, but that is not the... Um, you do not have quests in this game. Uh, this game is not quest oriented. You do not have to do the hearts. You can uh, st uh, start the heart and then uh, come at the uh, dynamic event and go other way, completely other way. And that is fine in this game and that is the way of leveling. Now, what else did I wanted to say? Yes, uh, the way. how are we going to level? You have, um, as I said, five main cities and five starting areas, 1 to 15. So we are going to finish all of those first. So Matrica Provenance, Caledon Forest, 
uh, Queensdale, uh, Wayfarers Foothills, and this one here, Plains of Ashford. And when you when we finish that, then we are going to progress to uh, higher level higher level areas. You basically can be level 30, and when you are in a lower level area, you are going to be downscaled, and you will be the level of your creeps. So you can never one hit your creep, uh, your monster. Basically, that is the point of this game. Now, uh, I'm opening the map so much, but I'm trying to figure out what do I need to do. Okay, let's go this way. So I unlock this uh, point of interest. And uh, we are going to try to do the first heart. I think I'm in the wrong direction. Yes, I am. Of course I am. And, uh, yeah, I need to go this way. So, we are basically going to unlock the map, do the hearts, do the dynamic events. Oops, I clicked on the wrong place never mind and we are going to I'm going to try to get at least a level three or four in this video and in the next one we are uh, going up to five or seven something like that I will try to level as faster as possible and also because I have another character my yes, uh, yes. L magic find oh, is 89 percent so I'm going to get a lot more um, not a lot more I will I will be getting uh, better items, uh, I will drop better items, so yeah, that is what I wanted to say, and uh, our inventory is very sparse right now, but I'm not going to offhand use requires, yeah, I'm not going to open, um, maybe I, I will switch for now, oh my god, I don't know how to play with these ones, but never mind, alright, what do I need to do, experiment on inactive golems, repair golem control panels, okay, where are inactive golems? Oh, there they are. Uh, there are control panels, toolboxes, and stuff like that. Power down golem, amazing. So, let's activate. Uh, I just usually click on the first thing I find, and if I have to attack, I will attack. Alright. Oh god, did I just made my clone? Yeah, I did! Nice! This thing is creating clones. Whoopsie. Uh, let's organize the toolbox. And usually hearts uh, are to kill someone, or to fix something, or to bring someone something. They're not that hard, uh, and, and you can do it solo. That's the main main thing for this game. Everything you can do solo, and if three persons, three, three, per, three persons are hitting uh, the same uh, monster, they will all get XP and they will all get their own drop and I really like that about this game. Okay, I have to attack him. Okay, clone me please. And... great. Come on. I definitely need to buy a better weapon. These ones do not work for me. Scepter is not one of the best weapons for Mesmer. But for now, it is going to work because uh, I have money, but I do not want to buy uh, everything just yet because you are lower level and you do not have to do that. You can you can work with whatever uh, you have right now. All right, here's my toolbox, and I only have to. Oh, I finished it. Nice. My heart is done, you get karma and uh, money from that, and also experience. Karma and money you get uh, you get from hearts. At the beginning you get copper, and uh, as the levels progress you will get, uh, I think, up to one gold. And as you can see, this over here um, is um, the dynamic event, and it is a great way of leveling in this game. So let's get to the dynamic event. What do we have to do? Energy store, defend. Uh, okay, we need to defend him against earth elementals. And finally, I am... And if you're wondering why is everything going in my inventory just yet, uh, right now, but because I currently have... Uh, let me show you that. I finished the mastery. You can all uh, you can do this when you reach level 80 and you do uh, and you have Heart of Thorns. So uh, I finished this mastery, advanced logic, and everything that I um, that drops it goes uh, immediately in my inventory. 
Alright, so we are here at our first uh, Vista. How are we going to get to there? To get to Vista, you usually have to jump or do some kind of jumping puzzle. I think that this one uh, is going to be, yeah, uh, this way. I will show you. These are not that hard. Sometimes you have to be really careful because you can uh, drop and die occasionally. But uh, uh, that happened before, before the patch that came in December, if I'm not mistaken. And this Vista is going to show you the area you are currently in. And it, it just a little... Uh, it's cute, I don't know. And it it will give you XP. You do not have to watch this. I usually watch so I see the, the surroundings. And as you see, it will give you a little bit of XP. Um, before, the latest pa uh, before the patch in December, you could have died if you dropped from a vista. But now you just hit the space twice and you can fly. <laughs> so you do not have to worry about that. Okay, let's get down and hit the space. Not to die. Alright. Let me get the waypoint, amazing, and we are getting to level 3 faster than I expected it to do. So for now I'm just going to finish this heart, this vista and this point of interest and after that we are going to uh, finish this part. Whoops. Come on. Oh, Scepter is really, really, really... Uh, weak, not weak. It's it's uh, his casting speed is very very slow. Okay, come on, fire imp. Uh, I'm picking fire imp because the fire imp is easier to kill. Is the easiest actually to kill. Oh, I have three of the. Oh, this is really. Uh, let me just see. Oh, nice. I've never played with a scepter. I usually buy. Uh, I never played with a scepter. I tested the great sword when I was deciding what I want to level uh, through my level 80 booster, and I tested the uh, great sword, but I never tested a scepter. It's really good, actually. It's not that bad. I thought it's going to be really, really bad. And as you can see, now I will demonstrate this. We both we are both hitting the same uh, the same imp, and we are both both getting XP from it and uh, the drop. Which is really, really amazing, and I really love that about this game. I hate when you have to tag, uh, when you have to tag uh, a creep on your own, on your own. For example, a Blade and Soul has that, and uh, uh, if one person hits a monster and the other one uh, hits it, the other one is not going to get anything from it. So basically, first serve, first, uh, first game, first serve. But this is not the uh, the situation in Guild Wars 2. Okay, and we are level to level three, and we got the leather bag, uh, leather bag four slots, and we can do player versus player. Also, if you're not interested in PVE, you can level up uh, in this game through PV PVP or world versus world. When you level through PVP at each level of PVP, uh, there are 80 levels of PVP, you will get one tom tome of knowledge uh, that you can use in your uh, PVE, uh, on your PVE character, PVE side of character. Okay, and now let me get uh, inside so I can unlock this waypoint and then we are going to go through that um, Vista, and after that I'm going to end this part. Maybe I can get to level 4. No, probably not. Okay, there are the stairs. Uh, they're fairly easy to get up. Oops, come on. And uh, the other part, yeah, this way. And jump up. And we're going to take a look at this Vista. And everything in this land, uh, currently we're in Metrica Provenance, everything is um, weirdly shaped. It's like from the future. And that is why I love the Azura. They have the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful towns in this game. Okay. So yeah, that is going to be it for this first part. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you uh, like this uh, Let's Play. I, I'm really enjoying it right now and I love my character and I love that I made an Azura. 
so yeah i think that this is going to be it for now thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it please give it give this video a thumbs up uh, so i know that you enjoyed the series and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos i will post one video a day for guild wars 2 whether it's a let's play tutorial or just a funny clip that i wanted to show you guys but uh, please expect that and also i'm posting sims videos if you're not interested in those you do not have to watch them of course but if you're interested in guild wars 2 hit that subscribe button now uh, enjoy the rest of your day and i'll talk to you in my next video bye